Hey guys, I'm Tanya, and for all of you who don't know me, I am an Indian who moved to Canada to pursue her post graduation course. Being a recent graduate, I have applied for my post graduation work permit ke apply kiya, and I got it approved as well. So during this process, I did a lot of research about it, and this video is going to be me sharing all of that with you guys. So first things first, what is a PGWP? So PGWP stands for the Post Graduation Work Permit, which is an open work permit जो आपको मिलता है after your graduation from a master's, a bachelor's, a certification, post graduation course, कुछ भी. So after that, आपको ये work permit मिलता है which makes you eligible to be able to work full time in Canada. So as a student, on student status, you are only allowed to work 20 hours a week. Whereas, after getting your work permit, you can work for 40 plus hours. Now, what is the duration of this permit? So post-graduation work permit ranges from anything between 8 months to 3 years. And this depends on the duration of the course that you were doing. So, you have to depend on Canada, you have to depend on your post graduation permit. Kitne time ka hoga. So, usually, the eight months of one year ke courses are in one year ka work permit. Milta hai. Whereas, courses which are two years or longer get a three years work permit. So, initially, when you decide your course, you have to keep in mind that that is going to impact how much work you get to impact ki aapko kitne saal ka work permit. Milta hai. When do you apply for a PGWP? So, you apply for a PGWP right after your graduation, which means that you have been graded for all of your subjects, you have completed your co-op and you have got your transcripts. Bhi mil so, ये जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको जैसे ही आप ग्रेजुएट हो जाओ आपको तुरंत ही अप्लाई करना है। You have 90 days या आपका जब तक स्टडी परमिट एक्सपायर हो वहाँ तक के लिए आपके पास टाइम है। But keep one thing in mind कि as soon as आपको अपने ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स मिल जाते हैं and कॉलेज आपको जब एक लेटर ऑफ कंप्लीशन दे देता है, उसके बाद you lose your student status which means that you are not eligible to work. You don't need to apply immediately, but keep in mind that the day that the college gives you your final transcripts, uske baad se you lose your student status and you are not eligible to work even part-time. What is the process to apply for a PGWP? So, process bohat zyada complicated nahi hai. You can get it done from someone or if you want to do it yourself, then you have to do it through your IRCC website and you need to log in with your GC key. So you can use the same credentials जो आपने अपने study permit में apply करने के time use किए थे और you can create a new one. But application online है, I'm sure there is an offline application as well but this is the easier way to do it and most of the students do it online. What are the documents required? So आप जब log in करोगे तो आपको IRCC की तरफ से एक checklist मिलेगी on the website which will state all of the documents that you need. Basically, the documents that you are going to be needing are first, your completion of graduation from your college. Second, transcript. These are different things. One states that you have graduated. Other one is your transcript. That means your grades. Along with that, you also need your passport and you need a recent picture of yours. Iske saath saath, you also need to fill a form called IMM 5710. So, this form would have a lot of questions related to your basic details, your stay in Canada, and a few questions related to that. Guys, let me know if you want me to make a detailed video of me showing you how to fill this form. Application time. So this is one really important one which always keeps varying. So application time could vary from anything between one month to three months. Usse kam ya usse zada bhi ho sakta hai. Especially in COVID times, the IRCC has increased the work permit issue in the timelines. But don't worry, because as soon as you apply for your work permit, you can start working full-time on applied status. So, until you don't reply, you are eligible to work and you can work while you wait. So, you don't have to worry that when it comes, you can work. Applying for a post-graduation work permit, just like everything happens, it's not free. So, what's the cost? The total cost is $255. Just may say $100 is for the work permit and $155 is for the open work permit holder fee. 
सो टोटल आपको टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉलर्स पे करने हैं यू कैन पे थ्रू योर क्रेडिट और डेबिट कार्ड ऑनलाइन उसी वेबसाइट पे एंड दैट्स इट दैट्स ऑल यू नीड टू डू टू अप्लाई फॉर अ पी जी डब्ल्यू पी नाउ देर आर अ फ्यू अदर थिंग्स विच स्टूडेंट्स ऑफन गेट कन्फ्यूज अबाउट हेयर सम अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू पी जी डब्ल्यू पी सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू डो नॉट नीड अ जॉब ऑफर टू अप्लाई फॉर अ पी जी डब्ल्यू पी सो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन वर्क परमिट इज कंसिडर टू बी एन ओपन वर्क परमिट मतलब आप कोई भी एम्प्लॉयर से बाइंडेड नहीं हो आप किसी के साथ भी वर्क कर सकते हो इन दिस पीरियड ऑफ योर वर्क परमिट सो यू डोंट नीड अ जॉब ऑफर अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग यू नीड टू बी अ फुल टाइम स्टूडेंट इन ऑर्डर टू अप्लाई फॉर अ पी जी डब्ल्यू पी तो अगर आप पार्ट टाइम स्टूडेंट हो अगर आप पार्ट टाइम कोर्स कर रहे हो या आप रिमोटली कोर्स कर रहे हो सो यू माइट नॉट बी एलिजिबल फॉर अ पी जी डब्ल्यू पी सो वाइल अप्लाइंग फॉर अ कोर्स मेक श्योर कि वो सब क्राइटेरियाज मैच होते हैं एंड इफ ऑल ऑफ दिस सीम्स अ लिटल टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड देन आई वुड सजेस्ट टेकिंग सम प्रोफेशनल एडवाइस You can go to an immigration firm and they will do everything for you. They will assist you throughout the process. SPS Canada was one such immigration firm that helped me through this process, and they made sure that my whole process went smoothly. So you can definitely take help from them as well. I'm going to put down all of their details and their links in the description below. A few situations in which I would suggest getting help would be. one if your study permit has expired and you are applying for your work permit after that so expire ho gaya hai and ab tak aapne abhi tak apply nahi kiya hai definitely get some guidance another situation would be agar aap ek ya do subjects mein fail ho gaye and you had to take an extended semester for that which means ki aap full time student se part time status pe chale gaye and that could create a little difficulty while applying for your pgwp so aise situations mein take help Also taking help would be a good idea if you are applying for spousal or dependent work permit and definitely another one would be if you've already been rejected then don't take a chance just get some help situations in which students didn't upload their documents in the right format and wo immigration office ke paas gaya and wo unhe khol hi nahi paaye and they straight away just rejected the application so make sure you have the correct resources you have good quality pictures aap correct files upload kare aap correct format mein upload kare all of this is very very important a pgwp is your step into your pr and eventually your pgwp is what is going to help you get your pr so which is why i keep saying be very careful with your application i keep repeating this because pgwp is once in a lifetime opportunity and you will not get it again aapne ek bar apply kar diya aap dobara nahi apply kar sakte which means ki aapko ek saal ka pgwp chahiye ya 3 saal ka chahiye ye bhi aapko bahut pehle se decide karna padega aap aisa nahi kar sakte ki aapne ek course kar diya aapne ek saal ka pgwp kiya and then you decide to do another course and then apply for the pgwp again ye nahi ho sakta which is why be very careful and make sure that you don't make any mistakes in this application this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it informational i hope i was able to answer all of your questions if you have any more doubts then feel free to drop them down in the comment section and if you have any video suggestions then drop them down as well and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in another video very soon till then bye okay wait before you go i know you guys have a lot of questions related to canada so if you have any such questions then fill the form in the description below and i will pick a few questions and answer them in my next informational video so stay tuned for that now you can go <laughs> bye